Hi everyone, this is Jillian Graham, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you different ways that you can add audio to your Google Slides. First, you'll hear rainforest noises that are being looped in the background, and then you can click on each of these animals to play their animal sound. But notice when I click on them, it doesn't open up in another file or another web page, it simply just plays the sound. And then another way I've incorporated audio is just an audio clip of my voice. I love, I love elephants. elephants. So now I'm going to show you how to incorporate the audio in each of these different ways. All right, so let's start with the background noise audio that I have added to this, and I'll show you how I did that. Um, I just found rainforest ambiance on soundbible.com and downloaded from there. And I'll show you how to download and put it in the folder in just a second. And then a colleague recommended zapsplat.com. I have been finding more sound effects on this website. Also, you do have to register for this one, but it's free. You can get some free, and it has lots of options, so this one's good too. So when you're downloading sound clips and putting them into your Google Drive, I recommend having an audio file folder. And then what you're going to want to do is set the audio file settings to anyone with link can view. That way, everything that you put in this folder will automatically have that same share setting because the folder setting overrides what you put in it. Okay. All right. So for the background noise, I'm going to insert audio. And my background noise is this rainforest ambiance one. And then once it creates that audio, the, you've got some options over here. If you have multiple slides and you want the audio to continue through the, throughout the entire presentation, don't check stop on slide change. If you want the audio to keep playing over and over again because this is only a one minute file, click loop audio. If you want the icon to be hidden while presenting, make sure that you um, first select automatically and then select hide icon when presenting. So that way, if you publish this to the web so that students can view it easily, um, the, the audio will automatically start playing. You can also adjust the volume when it's in present mode. So you may, might want to turn the volume down on the background a little bit so they can easily hear the noises of you know whatever you're connecting audio to. So that's it. That's how you insert the background audio and then I just put it in the corner. Okay, so this is the one I've already done. So now one of my favorite ways to use audio in Google Slides is to insert the audio but replace the image with something else so that when you click on the image it plays the sound without opening in a different tab or window or slide. It'll play right within this slide. So to do that, we'll just do this toucan as an example. So this is the one I already have set up. When you click on him, when it's in present mode, you click on him and it plays the sound. Now, to get a sound clip of a toucan, I did have to use Zap Splat. I couldn't find a good one that I liked on Sound Bible. So you just search for the audio that you want. You it. And download your MP3. It'll generate your download link. And here it pops up right down here. So now I'm going to go to my drive tab and I'm just going to dump this right in here. I already have it in here so I'll just update existing one just to show you. All right, so now it's in that audio file within my drive. So now I'm going to go to back to my zoo. I'm going to insert audio And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and my settings are already how I want it. I want it to start playing on click 
and um, this part isn't going to matter for just clicking on a particular object. So what I'm going to do on this audio, I'm going to right click, click replace image, and I am going to actually search the web from an image. If you have an image that you find um, that you want on your computer, you can download it and then replace it from your computer instead. But I'm just going to search Toucan Vector, not really a PNG, just Toucan Vector, and I'm going to grab this guy right here and replace. Vector will just give you transparent options. Now, here's what happened. So I have my image that has replaced my audio icon, but you see his head got cut off uh, and part of his tail. Well, that's easy to fix. You go to crop, and instead of cropping it down, you want to extend it out so that you get all of the image. And sometimes it's a little tricky with that audio file that keeps popping up there. I'm going to undo because I accidentally resized instead of cropped. Drag all the sides out until I get all of him in there. There we go. Alright, so now here is the toucan linked to his sound. So when I hit present and I click him, his noise plays. The last one is just inserting an audio file so that it plays. And this is pretty simple now that you've seen the other ways, but um, I just used Vocaroo to record. And there's lots of different ways that you can do this. I love elephants. <laughs> so you record it, play it if you want to, make sure it's okay, download that file, and then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to your drive, your audio folder, dump that in your drive, insert audio, give it a second to refresh. There we go. And now I can pick this Vocaroo recording that I just made and then insert it into here. And here I just made a speech bubble and I actually grouped it together. Just delete that one, put this one back. You don't have to group it, but you can group it with the rest of this. You can use Control Alt G or I just right click and then group. And now it's just grouped together. So these are all the different ways that you can add audio to your files so that they play directly within Google Slides. And then when you're going to share this with students, um, the only way that this audio is going to work is if you use a Google Slide link itself or you use Publish to the Web. And I have another tutorial on sharing Google Slides with students that will maintain your audio and your GIFs and your animation. So I'll link that in the description of this video in case you need to watch that as well. Hope this helps, guys. Thanks for watching.